I wonder what happens when you mix the flavors. So many of you have probably seen the video that I did a while back where I actually bought from Amazon a uh, assortment of cricket flour chips and just a bag of mixed bugs. The bag of mixed bugs had no seasoning to it, which didn't really help with my taste test because all you had to go off of was the texture and the minimal flavor from the bugs. So it was not enjoyable for me. So it's kind of understanding when you think about the average person thinking that eating bugs is disgusting or gross or primitive or only for the people in like a third third world country or um, when people are impoverished enough they get the finest cuts of meat so they may end up eating bugs that they find in their backyard but the truth is that from recent studies eating bugs is actually fairly healthy and Compared to the normal McDonald's or Wendy's or Taco Bell based diet of today, it's far, far more healthier than you would actually imagine. And um, a lot of it is pretty much 100 grams of, say, crickets has approximately the same amount of protein as a cut of 100 grams of regular red beef or red meat for that matter. and it has far less fat in it, and it doesn't have the processing that some meats go through. Oftentimes, it's pretty much a matter that they harvest the crickets, they fry them up, bake them, or freeze dry them, or whatever they actually do, and that's far less intrusive than putting a whole bunch of preservatives or other things just to get the meat from the butcher to the table and the way that the world is going our population is increasing drastically our food sources are having to be kind of improved we're having to kind of grow more produce in little t in littler spaces than we did um, in even the 1920s when there was the Great Depression and everyone was going off to um, scour through garbage for food scraps. We're probably heading towards a similar scenario in the future, but it's going to be far worse because compared to pretty much a hundred years ago, it's there are far more people that are needing to be fed and not many people can really feed off the last remnants of beef. And when you consider how smaller an area you need for growing these insects it's it seems pretty feasible and it's looking like a um, really intriguing option for the future the truth is m many of the world's population about 80 percent eats insects in their diet and when you think about that it's like north america is only a part of 20 percent of the whole world's population that eats insects well anyways the top 10 insects that you could eat in north america are crickets and grasshoppers locusts which are kind of a type of grasshopper caterpillars you know moth or butterfly larvae obviously you wouldn't eat a monarch butterfly because those are pretty toxic and June bugs, which is a type of beetle, termites, which are pretty similar to ants in their kind of nature, but they eat through wood, so there's a lot of fiber and stuff that we could probably get from them. Centipedes, mealworms, scorpions, bees and wasps, even wasp larvae. Obviously, we have to look at the markings of bugs to really know if it's safe to eat or not. Like I mentioned, the monarch butterfly larvae is not edible because it's got harsh coloring and that harsh coloring is pretty much because they don't want to be eaten and they're pretty toxic when you do eat them so pretty much the safe colors are earth tones you know like black brown and green and pretty much white 
Also being careful of pesticide ridden areas like urban areas where people frequently spray pesticides. So you may want to take a journey into the woods to find a rotten log to gather up some termites, look under rocks and stuff to gather some like centipedes. But recently I came across these packets of a um, barbecue and a taco seasoned crickets. And that's the main point of this video. I wanted to mention the fact that eating insects isn't as gross or weird as you may think. And frankly, it's one of those things that the future is going to hold. And it's probably likely that you'll fee see a lot more of these types of things in grocery stores and drug stores because lots more people will end up trying to enjoy them and trying to find other food sources of snacks and stuff. So anyways, let's, let's try this barbecue one first. So it actually doesn't smell as much of a like normal barbecue, but there's definitely a barbecue type smell to it. It's kind of interesting because it looks like they removed the legs or that or the legs broke off in the bag. This isn't too bad. The flavoring is uh, actually really good. It's not it's not overwhelming or taste weird because all you're really having to stomach is the kind of flavor and the texture of the bug. But I'm not sure why I'm coughing and like tearing up. It's just the I think it's just the dryness of the insect. I'd probably compare this to taking smaller shrimp and instead of shelling them, you keep the shell on and then you just eat them as is obviously cooked if they're shrimp, but actually not as unappetizing as I would have thought since I had tried the, um, the plain bugs. Now to try the uh, taco. I'm kind of hoping that it actually has more of a taco flavor than I would expect. I'm not really sure what to describe the uh, smell of it as, but it almost smells as if it was a, um, you were smelling a cutting board that you used to cut up um, some like taco seasoned meat. Wow, this is actually really, really good. I wonder what happens when you mix the flavors. I'm going to try and get as equal amount as I can of both. Alright, let's see what taco barbecue tastes like. They're both such similar flavors that I don't really taste much of a difference. But I have to admit, more companies make things like this. Entomophagology, which is the kind of scientific term of eating bugs may make it to the mainstream if not people eating bugs directly like I just did even if it was more just like the cricket chirp chips I think that a lot more people will be open to eating bugs and enjoying bugs as a regular part of their diet I mean these were just two flavors there was also a third flavor which I had and I tried to make 
the start of the video with, but compared to these, it is, it's not that appetizing. Then again, I'm biased because I don't like sriracha. I just wanted to try the sriracha flavoring because sometimes, sometimes companies make the sriracha flavor pretty nice and balanced. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. More videos about me eating bugs and eating weird things are sure to come because I actually enjoy being this adventurous. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, press the little bell icon if you want to be notified of future videos. And if you want to share my videos, if you are entertained by anything that I've done, 